What's up guys, Gusko Honk here and we are back with another Minecraft Marketplace map. This one is free. It is called Artemis Rocket Build. It is a free education edition map that just came out on the Minecraft Marketplace. It's themed around NASA's Artemis missions. As you can see, I'm at NASA HQ right now. So what are we doing here? Welcome to Launch Control. This is where we make our rockets take off safely. Uh, we're working on a really exciting project called the Artemis program, and we want you to be a part of it. Okay. We've made some special classes just for you that will teach you everything you need to know about building rockets and the Artemis program. And we have a special mission for you to practice your skills. This will get you ready for when we start sending cargo and even people to the moon. All right, I'm gonna be going to the moon, I think. The first mission you'll be working on is launching a satellite into space. This satellite will help us communicate with our spacecraft. It's an important step in our mission and you'll be playing a big role in making it happen. All right, if you're ready to get started with the lessons, head down the hallway and through the first door, that's where the classroom is. Once you're there, just talk to the teacher and they'll get you started on learning all about why we're going to the moon. Okay, I'm going to the moon. That's the plan of this stream. This stream, Goose Go Honk goes to the moon. So, there's a lot of people here. Can I talk to all these people? I actually think I can talk to the ones with names on them. Oh, that door just opened. So, this is the place I want to go? It is indeed. Boom, I got a chair. Oh no, can I not sit in the chair? Oh man. That's a shame. Alright, lesson one. Introduction to Artemis. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Welcome to the Artemis rocket build world. I'm here to tell you about the Artemis missions. NASA is going to land the first woman and person of color on the moon as part of these missions. They will use new technologies to explore more of the moon than ever before. NASA will also work with other companies and countries to set up a permanent base on the moon. What we learned from our time on the moon will help us send astronauts to Mars for the first time. Why are we going back to the moon? Why is NASA sending people there again? Click below to find out when you're done and move on to the next section to learn about how to build rockets. Economy was said about. The Artemis missions will help create new jobs and industries on the moon and help people learn new skills. I see. I'm going to be starting new industries on the moon in this map. Discovery. NASA is using what it has learned from exploring space for more than 50 years to explore the moon with Artemis. NASA will build a long-term presence at the moon and an outpost in orbit around the moon called Gateway. What's the timeline for this? I'm, I'm not aware of this. Is this because China's sending probes to the moon? We will explore more of the moon than ever before with the help of other companies and countries. We will also inspire people to learn more about space. We are the Artemis generation. I see. You have completed my lesson. Go through the door and to learn about how go through the door and to learn about how a rocket works. Now I'm pretty sure this is a single player map. I didn't check actually, but it seems single player. It's free by the way, for those that missed out. It is a free map. Lesson 2. How does a rocket work? Uh, rocket go boom, rocket go up, and then, yeah, no air, so air tank. Uh -huh. See? I'm smart. I could be a rocket scientist. Before we start building our own rocket, let's talk about the basics. Yeah, I just want to build the rocket and get in the rocket. Engineers use special laws called Newton's laws to understand how forces work and make sure rockets fly properly. These laws were first written down by a scientist named Sir Isaac Newton a long time ago, but they're still very important for rocket engineers today. Huh? Do you want to know more about Newton's laws and how they help us build rockets? Let's find out. First law, apple drop on head. Objects like to stay still or keep moving unless something else makes them change. For example, if our rocket is standing still, and if we don't push it, it will stay still. But if we give it a push, it will keep moving until something else makes it stop. This is called Newton's first law of motion. It's important for us to understand this when we're building and flying rockets. Is there going to be a quiz later? Or do I need to know this to build the rocket? Huh? Number two, did you know that... 
how quickly an object speeds up or slows down or changes direction depends on how much mass it has and how hard it is pushed. This is called Newton's second law of motion. If we want to make a rocket go faster, we can either make it lighter or push it harder. Three, have you ever heard the saying, every action has an equal and opposite reaction? Well, this is a scientific idea called Newton's third law of motion. It means that when something pushes or pulls on something else, the second thing pushes or pulls back just as hard. This is how we can make things move like rockets, uh, like rockets <laughs> and apples. A rocket engine produces thrust through action and reaction. Action, the engine produces hot exhaust gases which flow out of the back of the engine. Reaction, a force is produced in the opposite direction from the fuel, pushing back on the rocket. Well, that's cool. When we're building and flying rockets, it's important to think about the different forces that will be acting on it. These forces can push or pull the rocket in different directions and some forces are stronger than others. For example, the force of gravity is always pulling the rocket down towards the ground, and the rocket's engines create a force called thrust that can push the rocket up into the sky. To make sure our rocket flies the way we want it to, we need to think about how all these forces will affect it. Guys, I'm going to be pl applying for uh, SpaceX after this. I'm going to be sending Elon Musk a tweet and going, look, I've, pay I've played the Education Edition map now, sign me up for SpaceX. I'm an engineer. Weight is the force that the Earth's gravity creates on an object. Gravity causes uh, mass to have weight and is what makes things fall to the ground. The Earth is big and heavy, so it has a lot of gravity. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's why everything weighs something here on Earth. But did you know that weight can be different on different planets? That's because each planet has a different amount of mass, which is how heavy it is. Thrust. Thrust is the force that makes a rocket move. It's created by the rocket's engines and pushes the rocket in a certain direction. Have you ever blown up a balloon and let it go? The air rushing out of the balloon creates a force that pushes the balloon in the opposite direction. It's kind of like that with a rocket. When the rocket's engines burn fuel, it creates a force that pushes the rocket forward. This force is called thrust. Oh yeah, true. SpaceX only hires Americans. I'm guessing NASA also only hires Americans, though. Um, uh -huh. We want to build a rocket that can fly all the way to the moon. The moon is really far away, so we need to make sure our rocket goes fast enough to get there. We also need to make sure we have enough fuel to burn the, to burn to power the rocket. Uh -huh. That's because the rocket needs to go fast enough to escape the Earth's gravity. Gravity is the force that makes everything fall to the ground. To break free of the Earth's gravity, we need to go fast. Can you guess how fast we need to go? I don't know, maybe like 20 TNT blocks? That should be enough to like push us. That should be good, right? Do you read chat? Uh, usually not at the start of the stream, because people also watch this as a video, so they don't really want to see me replying to uh, people's messages and stuff. After we learn more about how fast we need to go and how much fuel we need, we can start building our rocket to fly to the moon. What's delta V? This is a short way to refer to a change in velocity. Ah, uh, right, yeah, 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 delta is change and V stands for velocity then. Uh, we'll be starting from zero and accelerate to six miles per second. 9.7 kilometers per second. Going that fast, you could go from New York to San Francisco in just eight minutes. We'll be burning our rocket fuel to achieve our Delta V goal. Huh? Yeah, velocity is the speed of something in a certain direction. Huh? Next, you have completed my lesson. Go through the door and learn rocket propulsion methods and fuels. Hmm, okay. So far, not much rocket building, not much gameplay, it's just reading. I mean, a lot of Education Edition maps are like that, but the, the ones by Shapescape, the um, Frozen Planet ones, they had cool little mini-games. So I'm hoping this will also have um, some more teaching through play, I guess, rather than teaching through reading. Propulsion and fuels. 
We now know about forces on our rocket, velocity and delta V. We have a lot of stuff to bring with us, so our rocket is going to be pretty heavy. Remember, not only do we need to bring our spaceship, astronauts and enough fuel to launch our rocket, we also have to bring enough fuel to get back. A rocket with more mass will speed up more slowly, so we're going to need a lot of fuel. Why is his nose like jiggling? It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> All of the NPCs have a jiggly nose here, it's weird. Humans have been experimenting with rockets for thousands of years. Early propulsion engines were developed in Greece around 400 BCE. The first true rockets were created in China about 800 years ago. Over the years, rockets have taken on many shapes. The fuel burn in these rockets can be liquid or solid. Which do I choose? Liquid. On Earth, ah uh, yes, water buckets. That's how we fuel rockets with Minecraft water buckets. On Earth, many cars on the road are powered by engines that convert liquid fuel into energy to produce motion. You may be familiar with some forms of liquid fuels such as gasoline, kerosene, diesel, and alcohol. Our rocket will be partially powered by liquid hydrogen. Solid gunpowder. <laughs> with solid fuel, you don't have to fill up the tank right before you launch. A solid rocket a solid rocket can sit for years before firing. Means the fuel, right? The rocket is solid. Well, the fuel is solid, I think it means. Solid rocket fuel used in the Artemis rocket is called P-Ban, polybutadiene acro, uh, acro, acrylonitrile. Acrylonitrile. Polybutadiene acrylonitrile. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't make you say that three times fast. Well, I pretty much just did. I tried. Let's take a closer look at the parts of the Artemis Space Launch System SLS rocket. Starting with the sides, we have the solid rocket boosters. The SLS has two solid rocket boosters that burn approximately six tons of solid fuel each second to help lift the enormous rocket off the launch pad and send it soaring into space. Their job is finished in just two minutes. Wait, so it's 60 times 2, 120, wait, two solid rocket boosters, so 120, six tons total per second. So 120 times 6, 600, wait, what is that? 600, 720 tons of fuel. Huh. Oh, it's acryl -onid trial. Inside the large central section called the core stage, it, the core stage are two liquid propellant tanks holding liquid hydrogen fuel and liquid oxygen. At the base are four large RS-25 rocket engines. These engines, together with the boosters, accelerate the rocket to more than 17,000 miles per hour, 27,000 kilometers per hour, during the first eight minutes of flight. The top of the rocket is where the Orion spacecraft is located. The long nose of the rocket contains the launch abort system that can activate on a moment's notice to pull the Orion crew to safety in an emergency during launch. Uh -huh. The rocket is huge, you'll see for yourself in a few minutes, but not all of it will make it to the moon. Once the core stage propellant is spent, the empty tanks are just unnecessary weight, so they drop off to make the rocket lighter. This is called staging. And I'm guessing they aren't going to be reused. I'm guessing they're just going to be dumped in space. Unlike SpaceX, they reuse them. I'm pro SpaceX. <laughs> Once launched, the solid boosters do their job in about two minutes, then fall away, splashing into the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, they don't orbit uh, the Earth. They actually do uh, crash down back into the ocean. Terrible. The pollution. They just need some more, they need like a little uh, parachute and some uh, some more propellant to like make it land right and then they could reuse them. I mean, come on guys, we're, we're way ahead of this. This is, this is primitive, primitive rocket science right here. The core stage of the rocket using liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen fuel separates about six minutes later splashing into the Pacific Ocean. 
more pollution? We're just dumping all these rocket parts into the ocean? Ah, oh, man. That's terrible. At this point, all that's left is the upper stage of the rocket called Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage, ICPS, and the Orion spacecraft. About 50 minutes into the flight, the ICPS fires briefly to raise Orion's orbit. It fires again about 30 minutes later to push Orion out of the Earth orbit on a trajectory toward the Moon and separates from Orion. At about two hours into the flight, the Orion spacecraft separates and continues its journey to the moon. You have completed my lessons. Go through the door and the next Artemis missions. Yeah, here I am. Just exaggerating, Marcel. Uh, I'm well aware. And they're going to, like, obviously, they don't leave the, uh, the rocket parts in the ocean. They don't just dump them there. They uh, retrieve them. But obviously... It still is, I guess you could say, outdated because um, they they can be uh, reused, and it's kind of wasteful to constantly be dumping these um, or like not reusing the same ones that could be reused. Hey Gary, welcome to the stream. Artemis is planned to include several missions. Uh, Artemis. One was successfully completed in December 2022 with the return of the uncrewed Orion spacecraft. This launch proves the technology and paves the way for the crewed missions. Learn more about Artemis 2 and Artemis 3 below. So why, why now? I mean, first time we landed on the moon was in the, what, 60s? Was it 68? Not 100% sure. But, but why now? We had so much time, and also I haven't really heard anything yet that makes the Artemis missions, I don't know, unique in comparison to other lunar missions. I, I, I don't really know. I'm also just not up to date on this, but I'm kind of learning as I go along here. Huh? <laughs> One small step for a goose. <laughs> Currently scheduled for 2024, Artemis 2 will carry a four-member crew of astronauts farther than any humans have been in space. 7,402 kilometers beyond the far side of the moon. The 8-10 day, day mission will include testing Orion systems that enable the crew to live in space, demonstrating operations needed for future missions, orbiting the moon, and collecting data before returning to Earth. Goosey Armstrong. <laughs> One big step for goose kind. Huh? Artemis 3, currently scheduled for 2025. Artemis 3 will be the first crewed moon landing since Apollo 17th in 1972. Right, 1972. Astronauts aboard Orion will dock with and transfer to the human landing system to visit the moon's South Pole region. The crew will remain in space for about a month before returning to Earth. Goose arm song. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's review some terms before you head into the vehicle assembly building. Uh -huh. Orion spacecraft. A NASA spacecraft that will carry astronauts from Earth to lunar orbit and back. Yep. Uh -huh. Space launch system rocket. The only rocket that can send Orion astronauts and cargo to the moon on a single mission. The SLS is the most powerful rocket that's ever flown to space. Interesting, is that so? Yeah. Gateway, the space station orbiting the moon where astronauts will live, conduct science, and prepare for lunar surface missions on regular Artemis missions. Gateway will orbit the moon for at least 15 years, supporting long-term science investigations and human discovery and on and around the moon in deep space. So is this space station uh, under construction or like, I, I haven't heard of this space station. I'm saying it will orbit, so it's not currently orbiting the moon. Um, as, yeah, I mean, the, as far as I know, there are no space stations around the moon. I think the only space station right now is the ISS. Um, but I haven't heard about this, so I don't know if this is, I guess, close to ending construction. Not sure. This is copy-pasted from the NASA website? Really? No way. <laughs> That's hilarious. Human landing system. 
Starship Human Landing System provided by SpaceX. Uh, that's provided by SpaceX. That's the uh, that's so that's for the actual landing on the moon then, or I guess on Earth as well. Hmm. The human landing systems are the final mode of transportation that will take astronauts from lunar orbit to the surface and back to orbit. Uh-huh. Artemis Base Camp. Artemis Base Camp is a concept that includes all the elements astronauts will need to explore and conduct science on the moon. Uh, the base camp may be one fixed location or distributed across a broader area on the lunar surface. It may include a modern surface habitat, a rover, a mobile home, and laboratory power generation and storage, and all the tools and equipment astronauts will need to live and work on the moon. So this is just a concept. There's also no time frame for this one. Uh Or at least not that I'm being told here. You have completed my lesson. Go through the door and head to the elevator to get started with building a rocket. Sweet. About time. Yeah. We I think we're gonna be building a spaceship now. A rocket. Will I go to the moon? Oh, we got a lift. Hey Anne and Soulblaze, welcome to the stream. So is the so is the uh, Gateway Space Station like has that been under construction for a while now or what does it say on the NASA website? Oh, okay, what's this? Ah, okay, I've got a budget I've only got a budget of fifty emeralds. Man, villagers these days. The villager economy is just messed up. How can I make a rocket with 50 emeralds? What's the cheapest rocket I can make? A creeper head? Hmm. Is that for blowing up the moon? Hmm. Hey, Jake, welcome to this stream. Sorry, I didn't... Uh, I, I did let you know that the stream was going to be in an hour. Like, I did an announcement on Discord. Okay, wait. Oh no, this is cheap. I think this is the cheapest. Uh, there we go. Oh, boom! I can I can afford a rocket. Forty six emeralds. Can I get more emeralds somewhere? You there? You can now select the rocket parts you want. Each part has a different value. After you are done, press the test button, which will run our simulation. Okay, but how can I get more emeralds? You there? As the test director, I oversee flight and ground hardware testing and help lead the launch team during testing, launch, and recovery. Uh Hi, my job is to drive the crawler that carries the rocket from the vehicle assembly building to the launch pad. Fully loaded, the crawler transporter weighs 24 million pounds. Oh, that's a lot. Hey, Daniela, welcome to the stream. So I'm going to be making a rocket and launching a satellite for the... Pretty good price of 46 emeralds. Let's go. Looks unsafe? Nah, we're fine. Uh, and it's gone. <laughs> Your rocket's delta V is too high. This means we will overshoot our destination. Try decreasing the fuel and thrust and or increase the mass of the rocket. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't... Can I change? No, no, this changes with... Huh, but I don't have more money. How do I get more money? I need money. Somebody, like... Yeah, send me funds. I need funds. Uh, so what did it say? I need... Uh, less fuel and thrust. All uh, right, this is the mass, this is the thrust, and this is the fuel. Okay, so we want, we want like, yeah, it needs to be kind of balanced. Let's, what has the most thrust? Just out of curiosity. I guess, oh, oh, this one, oh, that one. Oh, more, okay, wait. So this is, this is the, and then if I make it super light, it's gonna go just way past, way past the moon. We don't even want to go to the moon. We want to go to, like, other star systems. Other solar systems. Come on. Oh. Uh, these aren't that light. I'm surprised these are so heavy. This is just the top bit. 
Although I guess the cargo is in there too, so yeah. It's people and any other cargo. Um this one is probably the lightest, but yeah, I don't have money for this. Let me let me test. Your rocket is too expensive. Try selecting some cheaper parts. But 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 I got the cheapest parts. Hey, who's that down there? Do you have money? I need emeralds. Come on. Okay, wait. What if I... Let's use the cheapest ones of this again. 137. Okay, wait. 137. And then... 127. Close. Close. There was one for 50... I reached 52 total. So I guess... 62. Didn't I have 52 just then? Not really paying attention. 57. I think I'm going in circles. I'm not sure. 57. Okay. What's well, like a heavy one? I need a heavy, heavy, heavy rocket head thing. Before there were some really heavy ones. Oh no, this is the total weight, right? Of course. Yeah, I'm being, I'm being stupid. That's the total weight. You know what? This should, uh, this might, this is probably going to be too slow, but let's see. Loading rocket launch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens in real life. When the rocket's too heavy, it just kind of bounces back down. Well, actually, I want to decrease the weight. Can I do that? Where's, like, a, a lighter? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I need to... I think this one was the lightest, maybe? And then more fuel. That's also more weight. Oh, this could work. Oh no, that's 87. I can't afford that. So your rocket doesn't have enough fuel to reach it. Okay, so I do need the fuel increased. Can I increase the fuel or is it going to be too expensive? 43, is that the one I had? And it's 41, 46. I think I had the 46, didn't I? Well, yeah, this is this is too heavy, isn't it? It's it's got more fuel now, but I think it's still not enough. Please, please, no. Well, looks like uh, I'm not gonna be applying for SpaceX anytime soon after all. I'm a noob at launching rockets, but I just don't have enough money. Elon Musk needs to send me some. I'll accept Dogecoin. Okay, so what if... That's too expensive. 56. Wait, wait. This one. Oh no, 52? Ah, come on. 51, 55. I swear there's only like one answer here that's gonna work. Okay, that one's kind of light. Um, so this is still too expensive. Yeah, there's 52, 43. This is gonna be too heavy, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe make it look like a proper rocket. Interesting, interesting tip. Does it not look like a proper rocket? I mean, I think it looks like a type of rocket. Uh, thing is, yeah, I'm just very limited to what I can afford. Wait, let's do like highest or like yeah, a higher fuel thingy. Let's go for this and then see if we can bring these down. 89, 86. 87. Okay, 86 is the cheapest for that, I think. Fuel is expensive. That's one thing I've learned so far. The fuel, rocket fuel is not cheap. I 
I think 83 was the cheapest there, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's just this one, yeah. Can't afford this though. But this is what I had before. It seems like that's almost, it's almost like that's the only one I can afford. Oh, unless, ah, the weight went down with that too. Hmm. More thrust. Uh, what do we have here? I think I might have tried this one. Come on. To the moon. Yes. Too far? I don't know. Well, we got out of the Earth's orbit. Too high, but... Come on. Oh wait, wait, this is heavier, this is heavier. How about this? Go, go, go. Oh! Too far again? I don't know, where's the moon? It's not showing the moon. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, that one looks heavy. That one's pretty heavy too. Let's give this a quick test. Oh no, that's too much. 50. Okay, overshot again. Well, let's see. I can only afford. Yeah, I wish it would say the price for each um for each part. That would be good. Uh, this one that's not gonna work. That's too um. Yeah, that's too heavy. Um. Yeah, I'm struggling to balance it. Too little thrust, yeah. Is it just me? Am I am I being an idiot right now, or uh, is the combination just not? I really don't see which which combination is is gonna work. I'm not even sure this is meant to be a puzzle. What's this one? And then maybe decrease the fuel a bit. Nah. I think the one before this one? That? Oh, how much is that? It's too cheaper. I'm kind of guessing they have to all be roughly equal. But the weight just keeps being so much higher. Uh, this was the lightest thingy. Um, we can give this a shot. Nope. Too heavy. A uh, different one. Uh, let's see. Well, with this build, I can only afford a couple of them. Wait, how about this one, actually? Did I try this? Come on. Go. Too far? Ah, too far again. So, if I can just get something... See, that's gonna be... Yeah, that's too expensive. Use all the emeralds? Well, I sort of, I am really, currently, well, this is 49. Have I tried this? Oh, this is gonna be too, too fast, I think. Yeah, that's 
too fast. There's configs for exactly 50. Yeah, well, there was one I noticed for exactly 50, um, but that one didn't work. We can, can try recreate it again. Oh yeah, you know what? Maybe you're right. Um, or maybe uh, Anne is right. That that would kind of make sense. It's like the puzzle is just to get the right um, get the right uh, get it to exactly fifty, rather than actually having to guess in terms of um, propulsion and stuff. Okay, wait, 67, how much is that? 62, 40, 50. Nah, it's, this one's gonna be too heavy. Oh, come on. Is this, is this what they do over at NASA all day? <laughs> they do puzzles like this. Well, yeah, pretty much. Actually, they they do not not in this, like not like this, but in a sense that is what exactly what they're doing. Yeah, balancing the weight, the fuel, and how much thrust the uh, rocket has. This. Uh, how about this? Probably not enough thrust. Probably has something to do with what it taught you at the beginning. Well, yeah, I mean, all it taught me though is uh, is that <laughs> you have to balance, like it has to have enough fuel and enough thrust, but can't be too heavy basically, and they have to be balanced out. Thrust to lift the rocket and payload, try increasing your rocket thrust, yeah. Easier said than done when you have 50 emeralds. Forty six. That's the only one I can do right now, right? Oh, 48. Oh, 50, 50, wait. How about this one? Have I tried that? The map is free. Marcel just said he's gonna try it himself. Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it, we got it. Finally. Anne was right. It was, so uh, you just have to use 50 emeralds exactly. You have to use exactly 50 emeralds and then um, kind of get lucky. Welcome to the upper stage building hangar, where you can redesign the upper stage the way you want to. You can only build within the area marked with blue dots. When you'll be done, when you're done, come back to me to confirm your build. All right. Um, cool. So I can, I can customize my rocket. Okay, so it doesn't need to be this pointy. We all know that's just like a myth. Rockets don't, it doesn't make them more aerodynamic. They don't need to be that pointy. So we are actually just gonna make it completely flat. <laughs> there. You know what? Yeah, no, let's, let's, change, let's change the colors a bit. Maybe make it out of planks. Everyone knows that planks are extremely durable. They can resist high pressure values, temperatures, especially oak planks. They are extremely durable. This rocket is gonna be a success. It's going to burn up. No, 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 no. Oh no, wait, you know what? You're right, we need to use crimson planks. They are from the nether, so they are fireproof. Just to be sure. They give you too much freedom in this one? Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. In the, um, in the trailer it showed the player just coloring the rocket, but I could turn this just into one block if I want to. I could remove everything except one block. It would be a very weird looking rocket though. Uh, 
No, no, no. This can't burn because these are crimson planks. They are fireproof. They're not flammable, which is why they can grow in the nether, the crimson uh, fungus. Perfect. Well, it's not looking like a rocket much now. You know what? Let's put like a stripe here just to make it look cool. Make it a goose. <laughs> That's a bit much effort. You've seen my goose building skills before. They're not that good. Yes, yes, yes. This is good. This is good. I'll put this in my SpaceX application. You don't need a diploma for SpaceX. You just need to show innovation. And if this is an innovation, if this doesn't prove that I'm an innovative engineer, then I don't know what will. Perfect. That's the top part done. Everyone knows the stripes will make it go faster as well. Smart. If you had TNT, it's a missile. That's a good point. I did not think of that. Ah, oh, I can't. I can't. Why is there no TNT? Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm stupid. Here. Now we have TNT. Let's go. I bet the Chinese space program doesn't have these. Stick that on there. Oh, yeah. We will launch those down at the Earth from on top of the moon. From the moon base. Can you blow it up? Uh, I'm not sure I want to try. Awesome work. Are you happy with the upper stage? It's done. There it is. Yes, build, rocket, build. <laughs> it looks like a pencil. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, now I can like spray paint it. Let's see, small, decrease per size, change to green. Well, we need to give it like a stripe. Uh, Yeah, kind of like this color. Put a skulk sensor so it blows up automatically. <laughs> oh no, it only works on the concrete? Okay, okay. Well, I would just kind of continue the crimson uh, thingy stripe here in like purple. Hmm, this is interesting. I wonder how this is done. Is it like, is it a projectile? Kind of seems like a projectile. I mean, wait, how far away can I stand? What if I stand here? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a projectile. Interesting. Okay, let's spray paint there. Honestly, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure this is by, um, Shapescape, I'm quite certain. And since they just brought out the paintball map, they probably just used the same um, mechanic. Oh no, but I can't change this now. This color is wrong. Okay, wait, we're just gonna have to spray paint the top a little bit. So it's like a stripe around here. Wait, there. This is definitely legal graffiti. This is not me just bra breaking into NASA and spray painting their rockets, I swear. Beautiful. Also, the flying is very weird and buggy. I don't know what's up with that. It's like fake flying because I'm not in creative mode. Oh yeah, but isn't this, this education edition, right? So I should be able to fly with Mayfly. I don't know. Well, I think we'll leave it like this, guys. I think it's fine like this. How do I launch it? Yeah, let's just let's just launch this thing. 
Now it is time to paint the rocket. I just did that. <laughs> I will hand you spray can. You can change the color and the scale of the spray can with your inventory items. Is that how they do it in real life? Do they just kind of spray paint the rockets? Is that a thing? Surely it has to be like special paint that won't burn up in the, uh, yeah, like on re-entry. I don't know. When you're done, come back to me to confirm your rocket. Yeah, it is painted. Wait, but I've already, I've painted it. It's done. Yeah, there we go. Loading. Yes, let's launch it. Okay, this is a long loading screen. Yes, they're gonna launch the, the, the goose rocket. The Artemis goose. Gustin, we have a problem. Ah, uh, yes. Hard at work. Weather is go. Such a masterpiece. Shame I couldn't afford a better rocket. Oh well. <laughs> Cauldrons. Oh, we've got liftoff. I'm gonna be the first goose on the moon. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm blowing the moon up. Yeah, we put TNT on top. Say goodbye to the moon. Why am I not in the rocket? Because I put I put TNT on it. I put TNT on it to blow up the moon. <laughs> it was my evil goose master plan all along. Yeah, what do you think about that, instructor? Nice work. Oh, okay. He was on board, I guess. I mean, this guy did see me put the TNT on the rocket, so... I guess that makes sense. He was all part of the evil plan. So we got a satellite into orbit. A satellite, wink wink. <laughs> what about the cheese? Yeah, the moon is made of cheese. That is true. I should have put in chests on the on the satellite so that they could um, store cheese there from the moon. Oh no, we forgot the crackers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to build a rocket to send cargo. Obviously crackers, because we forgot those. As part of the cargo are experiments and some instruments. These will help us prepare for sending people to land on the moon and give us important information about the landing spots. Keep in mind, launching to the moon requires a much more powerful rocket to escape Earth's gravity. Right, yeah, because that one just orbited Earth still. If you want to retake the lessons, you can head back to the classroom. Yeah, they didn't really help me with the puzzle. In the end, we kind of learned that you don't need knowledge, you just need money. <laughs> if you're ready to move on, I can take you straight to the vehicle assembly building where we'll start working on that cargo rocket. Rocket, let's go. Next rocket. Oh, we have 160 budget now. Sweet. Okay, let's put some power on this thing. 120, 25, wait. 125, I think that's the most expensive. Oh, okay, okay, I can't afford this. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize both Yusuf and Gary both said shoot, shoot for the moon. <laughs> Me taking it too literally with the TNT. So, you know what? We obviously have to put the creeper head on this one. This thing is loaded with explosives. This thing is just gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up the moon. That's the plan. The other one was just a satellite, apparently. I rigged it with TNT for no reason. But this one, this one is gonna go blow up the moon. Oh, no, wait. It's probably too powerful, isn't it? Oh, yes, yes. No, too powerful, too powerful. No NASA, but Gaza. <laughs> Wait, was... But NASA stands for, like, 
isn't it national agency of or national something space agency i'm not sure so goose something space agency so this was too powerful so maybe how about this can i get this to the moon oh too heavy okay fine fine i've got enough money you need more money i'll put more money in Although I have, I mean, realistically, I've burnt through all of NASA's money because I just keep sending rockets to the moon and they keep falling back down. So, yeah. That's National Aeronautics Space Administration. Goosenal Aeronautics Space Administration, then, I guess. Uh, let's see. So it was too heavy. Wait, this was too heavy? Really? More thrust. Give me more thrust. Uh, 141. Wait, no, this one was... Didn't I do this and this was too powerful? I think so. We'll test again to be sure. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Put that on the moon. Oh, wait, but I didn't get to customize this one. Oh, no, I do, I do, I do. This That was just like the calculation. That was the simulation. <laughs> Don't mind me, instructor. Oh no, it's filled. Ah, uh, why is it not hollow? I mean, what are you gonna put? Why are we firing a giant creeper head if there's nothing inside? I mean, obviously it has to be filled with TNT. Come on. Lots and lots of TNT. If only I had cheats on that, I could just slash fill it with TNT. They won't even know. I mean, the Chinese are just going to see uh, a giant creeper head rocket launching into space. They'll have no idea. They'd have no reason whatsoever to assume that it may contain explosives. I'm sure the United Nations is fine with this too. This is going to be the first creeper on the moon. And the last. The first and last creeper on the moon. Because the moon is going to be gone. Bye bye moon. Perfect. Let me just make the eyes out of TNT. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, let's just... It's done. There we go. Oh, yeah, I should have put animals in it. Should have, like, put, put a cow in it or something. <laughs> that is incredible. What do you think, Instructor? You like it? We need to paint it? Should we paint it? You know what? It could do with a little bit of green paint. It could do with some green paint. Uh, let's see. Where should I... What the... What block is this? What block is that? That's illegal. Is it a trapdoor? Oh, it is. It's just a trapdoor. So it's like a quarter... Vertical quarter slab. <laughs> Just a trapdoor though. Okay, you know what? Just to make it look a little better. I mean, I'd love to put more TNT here, but we will just give... We will turn this into a green stripe. Just to make it look a little better. Should have put pressure plates on it? Nah, it's just going to fly straight into the moon and blow up. That's that's the plan. Trust me, trust me. I'm, I'm a... I'm a... What's it called? Like a space scientist, a rocket scientist. I work at NASA now. All right, there we go. 
as we all know, stripes make things go faster. Like stripes on a car, stripes on a rocket, they just make it go faster. That's that's kind of how science works. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Back, 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 up, up, up. We forgot something. These thruster thingies are much too pointy. Everyone knows pointiness. Oh no, I can't remove it. No, I want to make it less pointy. Fine. Looks like I'm blowing up the moon then. Yeah, yeah, I painted it. It's done. It'd actually be hilarious if they had an alternative ending where if you put TNT on the rocket, it does actually show the moon blowing up. I, I think that would have been an incredible little detail. For players like me that just like to play like that. Here we go. The first creeper on the moon. Where there's go. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful creeper rocket. Farewell, moon. Goodbye. Oh yeah. Go creeper, go creeper. <laughs> I love the cutscene. The cutscene is so cool on how you can customize it. That's just epic. They've done a good job on that one. That was a good idea, whoever came up with that bit. So what's next? Are we launching something to Mars? You've learned all about our rocket program. We launched a satellite so we can talk to our spacecraft and send a spacecraft to the moon to check out the landing spot. Now we're finally ready to send humans to the moon and geese. Sending people to space is different than just launching cargo. We need things like a life support system to make sure our astronauts have things like water, air, food, and a way to take care of waste. You mean poop, sir? It's called a toilet. These things are heavy, so we need to make sure the rocket has more power and fuel. What? Their excrement is heavy? <laughs> we also need to launch the rocket at a specific angle so that in case of an emergency, the astronauts can safely abort. If you're ready, let's head over to the vehicle assembly building and start working on that rocket to get humans back to the surface of the moon. Let's go. Do we need TNT for that, guys? Is that part of the life support? Wait, 190. So what what's different this time? I mean, it has to go at a specific angle. Maybe I use this one then? I don't know. But where's like the life support? Where do I, what's the life support? This one looks like it's meant for humans. Oh, well, no. Um, oh, this one maybe, it's got like a window. Uh, let's put like a big, big thruster on it. So how about this? Your rocket's upper stage's payload class is too low. Try selecting an upper stage with a higher payload class. Three. Okay. Oh, too heavy? Okay. Okay. So I have to have the highest upper payload class, so... Uh, there's several threes. You know, I won't go with... Um, uh, this one, because that looks coolest. 58. Is that, well, 173, so that must be better, but these look bigger. Bigger 
is better. So, I mean, that should be stronger. Okay, these ones cost more, so I guess I'll try these. Oh yeah, I didn't actually look at the thrust, but I'm guessing the price and the thrust are, like, related. Hmm. So, I mean, I've got lots of thrust now. Maybe less fuel, because that's making it quite heavy. Uh, let's give this a shot. Go, 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 go! No, too heavy. Too heavy. Um, what about... Wait, is there a lighter stage 3? Stage 3... Oh, this one is stage 3. Wait, is this for humans? Is that meant for humans? Look more like a satellite thing, I don't know. Look like an antenna. Too heavy again? Come on. Um, maybe, oh yeah, I could do less, like a lighter thruster. Oh, this could work. No, no, apparently it cannot. <laughs> hmm. Still, but, but why? I mean, I've got so much thrust, right? How about this? Marcel did it first try. Wait, are you on this rocket as well, Marcel? Or are you uh, still on the first one? How about that? I mean, this is more thrust or roughly equal thrust to weight, so... <laughs> 190? Uh, okay. Oh, this isn't the one, though. Marcel managed to do it for 190. Let's try that. Oh, oh, right. The Oh, you mean you're on the 190 one. Okay. You know what? What if I just do the most expensive? Uh, I need stage 3. This is stage 3. 192, close. Wait, what if I do this and then... One eighty nine, okay. Oh that's one eighty seven, maybe that will work. Go, go, go. Yes, yes. Perfect. To the dark side of the moon. Success. Alright, let's just customize this a bit. You know what we're gonna do with this one? I've got an idea for this one. Next, next, yeah, I've got an idea for this one. We are going to, wait, actually, let's try this, just out of curiosity. No, okay, they turned that off, they turned that off. <laughs> what will it look like if I do this? We're just going to remove the whole thing. <laughs> In fact, no, we will leave one block. Try redstone. No, no, the um, TNT uh, game rule is uh, is off. If you can't light it with the flint and steel, um, you can't light TNT at all. Yes, we're removing it all. All of it. Can all go. The people that are going to be on board, they can just kind of sit on top of the rocket. I'm sure that's safe. I'm sure they'll be fine. As long as they have a nice little helmet that keeps their head from exploding under all the pressure. 
they'll be fine. All right, almost there. Oh, oh, I'm destroying the copper floor now. Wait, I can even, I can destroy everything. I can destroy everything when I'm standing in the blue box. Oh yeah. <laughs> build a flying machine. I could just build like a quarry here and start quarrying this whole thing. Stop mining it all out, that'd be funny. Except I don't know how to make a quarry. I know it's, it's slime and honey blocks and redstone and stuff. That's about all I know. Pistons. So, all the astronauts need is a little wooden chair each. Get one there. One there. Uh, this is not symmetrical. Wait. So that one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. This is where they're going to sit. That's all they need. That's all they need. Huh. It's done. Flying machines don't work well on bedrock? I don't know. I haven't... Yeah, like I said, I'm not... Um, I don't really know how to build them. Actually, I have built one a while ago. Just a very simple one with uh, a boat, some slime and uh, pistons. I think it worked okay, if I remember correctly. Right, this is the next level rocket. This one is for human transportation. There we go, the chairs are there. This is where the astronauts sit as they leave the Earth's atmosphere and approach the moon. Perfect. Let me just like spray paint this green. I don't know, we've kind of been using green, so why not? Just spray paint this area here green. Makes it a bit more visually appealing. Because green is an asso a color associated with good things like go and the green on traffic lights and healthy stuff, vegetables. This is why I work at NASA. Just have such valuable insights. Perfect. So astronauts sit here in the wooden chairs on the green thingy. Uh, boom boom stuff is down there. Fuel for the boom is there and there. I think we're good to go. We are done. Can I can I go to the moon? Can I sit on it? Is that allowed? Am I qualified as an astronaut? Or am I just the engineer and painting guy? Slash TNT guy. Here we go. We're launching humans to the moon to the moon are we gonna see them standing on the rocket that would be hilarious or like getting into the rocket that would be very very funny okay weather's good we are ready to go get the astronauts on are they in come on please show me a cutscene with the astronauts going on Oh no, it didn't. That's a shame. Go, go, go! We have lift off! Oh yeah. Wait, but there's no astronauts on board. They, they were meant to be sitting in those chairs. No! We forgot the astronauts. <laughs> we so just finish the map while <laughs> watching the stream at the same time. Wait, why am I like in the super flat world? Oh, credits, okay. In collaboration with Artemis, inspired by NASA's Artemis missions, created by Shapescape. Yeah, I thought so. You could tell by the trailer and stuff. I think, um, 
<laughs> the rocker, what is that? What did I do? Um, yeah, I think there was a lot of reading at the start. I get it's an education edition map, but in the other map by Shapescape, like the Frozen World, there wasn't as much reading. And it was a lot more kind of gameplay, learning through play. So, yeah, I think it was disappointing, especially the fact that it started off with started off with so much reading. But yeah, it was fun. I liked uh, building the rockets and the cutscene was very cool. The puzzle was a little bit annoying. I don't know if it was meant to be. Yeah, it was kind of meant to be a puzzle, but press the restart. Nah, we're good. We're done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. That was Goose Goes to the Moon. <laughs> I'm back again tomorrow. We're playing another Shapescape map tomorrow. They released a new map um, when this one came out. So they released two at the same time called Paintball. So we're going to be playing that one uh, tomorrow. I will see you guys for that. Goose out.